Good morning. Good Monday morning. So just a little chat. Some stuff has been coming up for me and, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, did you meditate this morning? And, and what I, what I, what I want to talk about is, is gratitude, really. But meditation seems to be part of gratitude. And, and uh, we had a discussion earlier in the, in the kitchen, which is kind of like our office sometimes here, uh, about intention and about desire. And, you know, if, if our desire is coming from a sense of lack, I, then we're kind of screwed. You know, if we're not living in gratitude and having, um, you know, and setting the intention for what we want to do or have or be in our life, then we're, we're, then we're living in, in a sense of lack. And, uh, and if, if you woke up this morning and you felt like something was missing, if you felt a sense of fear or a sense of, of foreboding, you know, off to work on Monday morning, um, then, you know, then we're not in a sense of gratitude. And, and uh, I think that meditation, you know, you take the time and, and to invest in yourself with meditation, to invest in yourself, take that moment to sit and, 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 and feel and be in, in, in a space, you know, then from that space, I think you, I believe you can wake up to how amazing you are and how amazing we all are and how fortunate we are to be here at this time, you know. Um, it, uh, I think we're so friggin' um, self-centered that we can't see the possibilities in our life and the immense gifts that have already been given to us. So that we're living in this time, that we're breathing in this time, is, you know, this, it's, it's, it, it, it's the, the possibility is so remote, and yet we just think that we take it for granted, you know, and, and, uh, and I hear it around me all the time, you know, a sense of complaint. Yeah, but if I only had, you know, this girl, or if I only had this car, or if I only had this job, or if I only, you know, was skinny, or if I was only taller, if I was only whatever, you know, and, and uh, um, it, 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 we're surrounded by, a, often by a victim story. So wake up. We're not victims. We've been given such an opportunity to be here. We live in, in one of the most amazing countries on the planet. You know, which is, wow, and one of the most amazing cities on the planet in this country, you know. Um, and we complain. So, gratitude, you guys, is so key to this deal. You know, make a list. You know, here's the practical. Make a list. What are we grateful for, you know, and write it down. There's a couple of lists that I think are really, really important. One is a gratitude list, you know, for our health. Even if in some way we feel it's not perfect, write down that we're grateful for our health. If we're still living, we have health, right? If we're still breathing, we have health, we're here. Write it down, it's, it's something to be grateful for. The more we're grateful for things, the more we create those things. So if you wanna have amazing health, be grateful for the health you have. And, and uh, so make a gratitude list, you know. If you have a job, write it down. Be grateful. It's amazing. You know, if, if that's what you want, you know, if you don't have a job, write that down. Wow, I have an opportunity to spend time working on myself, you know, which we always do, whether we're working or not, have that time to, to spend on ourselves. So gratitude is the key. If we have friends, write them down, you know, that we have, uh, you know, friends in our lives, that we have family in our lives. So that's, that's my thing. Gratitude, make a list. It, it's a, you know, <clears throat> and, in, you know, how, I don't know how to say it, but I think we're friggin' lazy if we don't make lists of what we have to be grateful for. You know, I'm so grateful I have this little shop, I love this little shop, you know, and, and I love this opportunity that I have to create meditation spaces in millions and millions and millions of homes, really, in millions of homes. I, this opportunity is, is here for me, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I can even meditate, that I have teachers that have taught me to meditate, that we're in a time where, you know, there's such access to such great information. The masters, all of the teachings are available online now, and we can 
we can listen to them on YouTube or we can watch them. And if they've passed, we can read their writings. So what a time. And I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm grateful that, that I have uh, beautiful people who work here with me on a regular basis. So gratitude is so important. I'm grateful that I have family. I have kids. I, my beautiful uh, kids are not children anymore. They're adults, you know, and I'm so grateful for them. So gratitude is so important, you guys. Monday morning gratitude. Let's be here in that feeling each mon Monday morning and, and recognize it, uh, um, how lucky you are, how lucky we all are. You know, today is the only day we have. This is it. One day at a time, one moment at a time. Be present here now. Be here now. And, and this is it. There isn't anything else. And, and you know, when we're in our heads, in the past, when we're in our heads in the future, you know, unless we're in our heads with anticipation of amazing things, we're in our heads often with um, this sense of, of foreboding that, that something's not going to go right. You know, your brain, I'm just going to talk about it for a second, because when I teach a little bit of meditation and people say, well, it's hard for me to meditate because my, my thinking's always going off, you know, and, and uh, that's its job. All right, that your mind is kind of designed to um, keep you out of trouble, and and uh, it comes from a time when there was a lot of of trouble to look out for. So it was either looking around to keep you safe or looking around to find food to eat, and and uh, so the mind is a tool. You are not your mind; it's a tool. And we can program it. We can reprogram it. Many of us need a reprogramming, a brainwashing, if you will, <clears throat> because we've we've been conditioned with um, negative thinking. We've been conditioned with fear thinking. We've been conditioned with lack thinking. So let's imagine and use a gratitude list to do that. That that we have opportunity all around us. That that there's there's endless opportunity, and that there's endless people to love. You know, have you ever felt, oh, nobody loves me? Well, let's go out and love somebody else. Let's go be in love. Let's pick up the phone and call somebody and say, hey, how are you this morning? I love you. And, and share the love. G give the love. Be the love. And, and, uh, but our mind is conditioned to, yeah, nobody calls me. You know, what the hell? It's a victim story, right? So let's get off the victim story and out of the lack and into uh, the beautiful gift we have today. Monday. What day is it? It's in March sometime. It's hard for me. I can never remember times. And, you know. <laughs> so somebody's full of aches and pains. Awesome. Great. You can feel. So gratitude that we can feel, that we have a body, even if it has aches and pains. We have a real body. Now, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not... Uh, uh, you know, um, you know, don't take my advice. This is just the way I live, you know. And, and so, uh, you know, imagine yourself running. Imagine yourself feeling great, you know. Start by going for walks. Get outside. Take a breath of air, right? Breathe. <sighs> if you can't get up and walk, just breathe. Breathe deep. Write the gratitude lists. If, 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 you know, uh, write it endlessly. If you're stuck in, in a bed, if you're stuck in a wheelchair, I just write endlessly what we're grateful for. And we get, the world gives us more of what uh, we want and, and what we imagine that we have. You know, we, we, the world gives us more of it. The universe gives us more of it. So um, I encourage you to, to always, always be grateful for everything that you have and that you are in this moment. So gratitude is key. Meditation, uh, take the time. So gratitude brings us into the moment. And all the power, in my opinion, in the universe, all the power in the universe is in this moment. All right? It's not in the past. It's not in the future. It's in this moment. Everything we need is in this moment. And if we're in gratitude, we're present. When we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, we're present. And be here now is where we need to be. That's where access to all higher power is, all relationship with God is, all relationship with infinite intelligence can only be had in the moment. 
So meditation will bring us into the moment. Maybe not as quickly as a gratitude list, but it does. Um, meditation brings us into the moment, and a gratitude list will bring us into a moment. Prayer will bring us into the moment, right? You know, service of others. Pick up the phone, call somebody, and tell them you love them, right? I had a beautiful friend text me this morning, early this morning, and say, hey, he loved being my friend. You know, that, that was just a, such a sweet message. And, and uh, um, in, in a way, he, he said he didn't think he was being the very best friend because we hadn't been in touch for a while. But it was beautiful. You know, I felt loved in that moment. I, it was an uplifting moment. So, um, you know, that's the way. So if we're in complaint, if we're in complaint, we get more of what we complain about. If my complaint is, oh my gosh, I'm getting too old. Oh my gosh, I'm full of aches and pains. Oh my gosh, I can't get out. That's what we get. It's a guarantee. We get more of it. Oh my gosh, I can't ride my bike anymore. Oh my gosh. Those are called complaints. It's a victim story. And it's very difficult. I understand. I have compassion. It's not easy to get out of that story. But we have to. And gratitude is the way out of that story. So that's the deal. You know, be grateful. Meditate. If you're serious, you know, otherwise what happens is that when we're in complaint, uh, it's people generally don't want to be around us. You know, we repel people. Complaint does not attract people to be in our circle. It's a fact, you know. And, and uh, <coughs> So I encourage you, it's Monday, it's the beginning of a new week. You know, find that place of gratitude. Write it down. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, and start to write down um, <coughs> the things that, uh, that, that we are grateful for. So, um, James, don't engage. Uh, it's just what happens is that, that uh, the complaint actually sucks us right in. And so what happens for us that are, that are reasonably conscious is we, we move away from complaint. We say, hey, that's enough, you know. And, and uh, look, uh, hi, Lucas. Love you, my son. Lucas said he's here. Um, and I think that's so cool, you know, uh, that... <laughs> my son is here. He's got so much to be grateful for. Oh my gosh, he's got a beautiful family and such opportunities in business and business and he's healthy and he's a brother that lifts weights with him. My gosh. Hey, Luker. Um, so gratitude's the key. Um, no matter where we are, if we're laying in a hospital bed, you know, if we've, we, we've fallen and cut our head like my other brother, Bobby, you know, gratitude. You know, is, is, is over and over again. That's my mantra today. And uh, gratitude, meditation, prayer brings us into the moment. All power is in the moment, here, now. And you have access to it. You have access to it. The thing that separates you and me from folks who create amazing lives, if we don't feel we've created an amazing life, is that we're not present. We're not here. We're in complaint. So... Um, I, I suspect that the other side of being in complaint is being in gratitude. And it's hard to see that story that we carry around, that poor me story, that victim story, you know. And sometimes we're so attached to it, it pay, the payoff is so big, we don't want to let go of it. We want to hang on to it. We want to tell the world how hard done by we are. Well, it's not very attractive. And it, it doesn't give us the life we want. It gives us that, that life, more of that life. <clears throat> so that's my deal this morning. Love you guys. And, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what drugs we take. I see somebody's talking about CBD. It, what matters is our attitude, our context in life. We are in control of our lives. And we write the story. You write the story for your life. I write the story for mine. And the victim story gets us more victim story. We have to bust out of it. And there's such great masters. I suggest uh, um, David Hawkins. I love David Hawkins' book. I read it here every day uh, called Letting Go. Read that book. Study that book. Live in that book. It's so high vibration. It, it will lift you out of that. The Bhagavad Gita. Amazing books. Both of those, you know. Um, there's, anyway, there's, it's endless. I've got a library of books that are on these videos that I do. That You know, you can order some of those books and, and, and lift yourself out. Because guess what? Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody can do it for you. Nothing outside of you can do it. And uh, so 
give up then. Uh, Rachel, I'm sorry. You know, if it, you, you're full of, I hear you, I'm listening to you, I see you, and what I see is you are saying it's over. You cannot, you've, you've given up. And, and I, I understand that, you know, that's a tough place to come out of. So pray your ass off, baby. That's my, my thought, just ask for help, guidance, and, and, and have gratitude on every moment. Just find something to be grateful for. And life can grow out of gratitude. It's the seed of greatness. Gratitude is the seed of greatness. Okay, love you guys. I got to go. And uh, it's, been, uh, it's been fun. Gratitude, meditation, be here now, be present. Um, it, 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 things could not be any better. This is the best of times. Without question, these are the best of times. Okay, love you lots. Cheers.